Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the different layer blend modes work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the contrast blend modes work, including overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light, pin light, and hard mix. Let's get started. In plain English, these modes will combine the selected layer with the layers beneath it to change the contrast of your image. First, you'll need to understand what 50% gray is. If you have a black to white gradient, 50% gray would be the brightness of the color right in the middle. It's not specifically gray, but refers to the brightness of a color. So you can have a 50% gray green, a 50% gray red, and so on. Each contrast blend mode pairs up one darken and one lighten blend mode, and applies them depending on the color of the pixels in the selected layer. If the pixels in the selected layer are lighter than 50% gray, they'll have a brightening effect. If the pixels in the selected layer are darker than 50% gray, they'll have a darkening effect. It's easy to understand once you see it in action. So here I have some shapes with a black to white gradient. If I select them and start scrolling through the different contrast blend modes, you'll see that the bottom half of the shapes, where the gradient is darker than 50% gray, darkens the image, and the top half of the shapes, where the gradient is lighter than 50% gray, lightens the image, but each blend mode has its own unique look. The overlay blend mode uses both the screen and multiply blend modes. If I leave the square to overlay and I set the circle to screen, you can see that they have a similar look, except the circle only lightens the image while the square both lightens and darkens it. Soft light is similar, but results in a more natural look. If I leave the square set to overlay and change the circle to soft light, you can see the difference. Hard light uses both the linear dodge and linear burn blend modes, but results in a much harsher look than both overlay and soft light. If I leave the circle set to soft light and I set the square to hard light, you can see an obvious difference. Vivid light uses both the color dodge and color burn blend modes, and has more saturated colors when compared to hard light. If I leave the square set to hard light and change my circle to vivid light, you can see the difference. Vivid Light will have a different look if you change the fill opacity when compared to the layer opacity. If I set both shapes to Vivid Light, and then change the square's layer opacity to 50%, and the circle's fill opacity to 50%, you can see that changing the fill opacity results in a more natural look. I'm going to undo those opacity changes and move on to Linear Light. Linear Light uses both the Color Dodge and Color Burn blend modes, but has a less transparent feel than Vivid Light. If I leave the square set to Vivid Light, and change the circle to Linear Light, you can see what I mean. Linear Light also reacts differently to fill opacity when compared to the layer opacity, so keep that in mind. Pin Light uses both the Lighten and Darken blend modes, but it isn't as useful as some of the other blend modes. If I leave the circle set to Linear Light, and change the square to Pin Light, you can see that it kind of has a harsh effect. I can't really remember the last time that I actually used pin light. Hard mix is an extremely intense blend mode, and you'll almost always have to reduce the fill opacity by a good amount to get a useful look. If I change the circle to hard mix, you'll see what I mean. But if I reduce the fill opacity, it starts giving a more natural look. All of these blend modes also work with colors. If I set the blend mode for both of my shapes to overlay, and reset the opacity on both to 100%, you'll see what happens when I begin to change the colors of my gradients. You can create some really cool overlay effects this way. If I hide my shapes and select my background layer, I can press Ctrl J to duplicate it. I can then change the blend mode to one of the contrast blend modes like hard light, to increase the contrast of the overall image. By adjusting the layer or fill opacity, I can tone down the contrast to get the look that I want. Keep in mind that you'll want to reduce the layer opacity or the fill opacity most of the time when working with the contrast blend modes. Fill opacity looks different on the vivid light, linear light, and hard mix blend modes, and typically looks better than adjusting the layer opacity. The best way to see how each blend mode works is to experiment with your own files. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop blend mode series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.